Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we would turn off all the music and we talk about Mod Hub. What is it? What can you get from it? Uh, who can use it? So this is basically the front screen of Mod Hub. You have the Mod Hub, you have the things that you installed, you have updates that need to be done. We can go ahead and do that. Oops. You have downloads, which is like the update you see here. It's updating it, but it's also a download. So there you go. We just updated it. Downloadable content. Okay, so these are called DLC, downloadable content. These come out, uh, I think, once a quarter or somewhere around there for each game, each year. You have extra content, usually comes from when you buy the game. Uh, the best recommendations for, for you as the way you play. Most downloaded is just most people are downloading these items. Um, no Man's Land, Precision Farming is most, yeah, everybody plays with that. Uh, this is the latest of stuff that has come out. See, like this one just came out not too long ago. It's an old vintage lawnmower. Then you have recommended. So these are some things that they recommend for everybody. All right, so that's the Mod Hub. So first we're going to check is maps. Everybody knows you go to Mod Hub to get your maps. Each map that comes out will be in this screen here. There's Western Australia. And it'll give you a brief overview of what the map is, what kind of fields are in it, what version it is. It'll give you who the author is and the size of megabytes to download. Uh, let's see, let's go all the way down. There's a lot of mods, or not a lot of maps already out for 2022. So here's another one, No Man's Land, there you go. But like I said, it gives you a description of what it is. It tells you on the left hand side who, who, who authors it, who made it, the version and the size. So Alien Jim made this one usually has pictures there uh, let's see okay how about there you go Griffin Indiana actually let me see here you can also press search and type in let's say Irish maps Ireland for Ireland no content no maps available for but they have all the maps that have come out. There's Crater Lake, Wisnes, uh, yeah. This is the newest one. The newest ones will always be the first ones. And then you can get your tractors. You have your small tractors, medium, large, everything that you need. Tractors, forage harvesters, uh, let's see here. Here's cotton, that's how many Cotton, that's all that's available in cotton technology. Uh, let's see here. Cultivators. You can just... So basically what a mod is, is somebody has taken the time to make their own version of it and sent it to Giant Software, who is the ones that make this game. And they, uh, they approve it and it gets put into the game. So this one says cultivators in the Rylex series fit perfectly on a farm of any size. It gives you a description, tells you how much they are, gives you some pictures. If you press L3, oops, you can go through the pictures. There you go. Uh, let's see here, we can get stone pickers. Okay, 
those are all different stone pickers for the it's not for the map it's for the game itself so these are all anything that you see in here is for the whole game you can get big bags you can pellets well, here's a fun thing I just downloaded not too long ago uh, you can get if I can find it real quick So, well, this is where you get your fuel tanks, like your portable fuel tanks. You can also get sheds, silos, containers. Here you go. You can, but everything in this, so in this mod hub section right here, silo, containers, you have everything that you see here all the way down. That's all made for this game. Here's farmhouses, factories. Here you go, factories. Let's look at factories for a little bit. There's the newest one, crude oil production, grain drying shed, fertilizer production. There's the lime factory. I just installed that. Again, gives you a little bit about the factory. Tells you who made it. Team IWMM version, size. And then it also has pictures that you can look at. That's the line factory. But you can get darn near anything you need for playing the game. Now, everybody's sitting there going, yeah, but that's isn't that cheating? No, it's not cheating because these people are making these to make the entertainment of the game funner. Here's a water production greenhouse and store. So who uses this stuff? Everybody does. There's something in here for everybody. Here's an old French de Bocote. There's a Grain Mill Plus. Uh, version 2.0. Mac Trucker 921 made it. Size is 1916 megabytes. There's some pictures. Can you get away, can you play the game without using these? Yes, you can. My opinion, it's going to be kind of boring. There's a factory bottle milk. There's a vegetable greenhouse. Oh, there's a pancake. Uh, let's see here, we got pizza production. Fish farming, if you've ever wanted to do fish farming, you could do fish farming. Dairy sheep pack, I have this. So instead of making wool, it makes milk, dairy sheep milk. So you don't get wool, you'll get milk. There's a potato processing. A lot of people like to do potatoes, beekeeping. Chocolate mucile factory. There's just all kinds of stuff that you can do. You can do, let's see, greenhouses, selling points. You can do the same thing with selling points. There's not as many but you can do them. Farm factory, cookie factory. Some of these things will only let you sell. That's why you have to go to factories in order to get stuff to make. Have generators. Most of the generator stuff, uh, like the wind turbine, if I can get to it, you're gonna make income from, these gener from this generator. It's a wind turbine. Uh, it's made by Mishu77, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it, tells you that it says income per hour. You're going to get 5000 per hour. Daily upkeep costs you $110. But it's just like the big wind turbines in Texas. Uh, here's another wind turbine. This is a package. It has different sizes of wind turbines. There's a hotel you can put up. It's gonna make you a hundred. Uh, it's gonna make you five hundred. Wait a minute, never mind. Let me say this again. Hold on. Cost six five hundred and eighty pounds. Maintenance is one hundred and forty-five pounds a day. 
Maximum profit per month, 60624 Variable according to the seasons. There's a radio tower. Here's the government subsidy. Everybody uses these. Well, not everybody uses these, but a lot of people do when they first start out. This will give you $100 million per year. Same thing for the municipal subsidy. Give you $100,000 per year. Just for having a sign on, on your... Here's a solar pack. So basically there's anything that you can think of. Oh wait, there's a Christmas pack. There you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's got pictures. So there you go. But yeah, here's a water turbine. That's all that there is for that. Animal pins. You can buy bigger animal pins for every animal that you can think of. Uh, sheep, horses, cattle, pigs, uh, Chickens. I think that's it. They even have some duck ones. Ducks. Piglets. Baby piglets. Baby calves. There's decoration. You can put decorations up. This is gameplay. This is like if you want to be able to lift pallets. There's a crop sensor for. Uh, here is a uh, ground survey. This. Tells you what kind of ground you have it's for uh, running not seasons, but uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Liftable pallets, just basically anything. There's package. So the package is there's a bunch of stuff in one little package. So like here's one for a warehouse package. There's a whole bunch of warehouses. In that need. Farmhouses, same thing. You can pick your farmhouse. They have different farmhouses. You can have some from Germany, there's some from Ireland. Bavarian. There's a tent. If you want a tent, you can put up a tent. You can put up a trailer. Uh, sleep triggers. Pioneer tent, log cabin you can have, American farm tent, just a whole bunch of stuff. There's a garden lounge, you can have that. Modern house, rustic cabin, residential container, farmhouse, farmhouse, farmhouse. American farmhouses, old Polish house, if you want an old Polish house. There you go. Pick the house you want. There's the Bavarian farmhouse. Scandinavian house. Old wooden house. Alpine farmhouse. Caravan. Container, container with vehicle workshop. I mean, just anything you can think of, they've come up with pretty much. There's a British farmhouse. This mod hub makes the game more enjoyable, in my opinion. I'm not trying to sit here and sell you on it. I'm just telling you what you can use and what you can get in the mod hub. So now that I've told you what you can get in the mod hub, let's download something so I can show you how to do it. So let's let's download a new map. Let's go to the newest map, Domain de Leori. Probably said that wrong. How about Hills of Tuscany? All right. You will see on this one out here, it says installed. Sosnovaca. This one says installed. Court, farm, country, park. All right, it says installed. So we're going to click on it. Now, we're going to uninstall it just by pressing triangle on the PlayStation controller. I just un uninstalled it. Now, 
say a couple months down the line you want to play court farm or let's say you want to play crater lake come in here you read your diagram your description and everything you say hey this is what I really want to play you look at the pictures pretty neat okay you want to download it all right you press X to install it it's going to say mod crater lake was added to your download list all right we're going to press zero to back out now you can look and see on the screen it says crater lake or you can press the right trigger one I believe it's right right one right trigger one yep, on the PlayStation controller you can go down go down to where it says downloads and it has what you just picked crater lake 22 and it'll show you how your download is going now we're going to just uninstall it because I don't want to but you can play all sorts of all sorts of stuff here's where you go to get to the downloadable content you'll come to the main menu there's the downloadable content and there's the mod, there's the mod hub up in the right hand corner it tells you used system storage so it tells you how much storage you have left and how much you've used now you can come through here and you can download as much as you can you can download all the maps you want We'll look at some more. There's Agro Land. There's Frontier Map. There is Castle and Leon, New Horizon. Okay, Balam Road Dairy Farming. That is uh, the farm. That is a recreation of the farm in. It's England, I believe, and it is. Uh, Tom Pemberton's Dairy Farm. I don't know if you ever watch uh, Tom Pemberton Farming. It's on YouTube. But that's a recreation of his farm. Neverland is the one I'm playing right now. So let's take a look at that. There's a picture of some cows. There's the map. There's a picture of the hotel. And that's it. Oh, wait. There's a picture of the there we go there's some more pictures for you the field to the right I believe is a baseball diamond do you have to use mods no you don't have to use them you can choose to use them it might make your enjoyment of the game uh, more immense uh, the immersion style of using a mod hub makes it to where you are actually part of the game. Here's one that's northeast end. Alright. There's the map. So all those things on there that are like brownish, you can buy those. Other than that, that is it. You can have small tractors, medium tractors, large tractors, trucks, harvesters, forage harvesters, potato technology, beet technology, sugarcane technology, cotton technology, grape, olive, forestry. You can download any, new, any number of trailers, new, old, wooden, you name it, you can download it. There is a bunch of trailers. You can have cars. They have a lizard go-kart. Have a quad track. Quad tractor. For some reason my pictures aren't showing it. Forklifts, steer loaders, telehandlers, wheel loaders, front loaders, auger wagons. These are the wagons you'd put grains and stuff in. Stone picker, mulcher, plow, cultivator, disc harrow, power harrow. 
you have fertilizer spreaders, you have rollers, you have planters, seeders, spaders, subsoilers. I like to do subsoilers because you can use them as a plow, some of them. You can use them like a plow. Like, let's see, I thought I had some. Maybe not. Let me see here, there's plows. Those are plows, so there's a whole bunch of different plows. But again, this is just people who like to make uh, items for the game to be used. Some are good at making the maps. Some are good at making these mods. Uh, for reference, 82 Studios makes a lot of trucks. Uh, let's see if I can find one. TLX, or it says author, it says 82 Studio. So he invented this truck to put into the game. So like I said, all these people do this because they like to do this and they like to see everybody having fun in the game. This, to me, makes the game a lot more funner. You can put more of yourself into the game. You can customize it basically to almost be like a real game, like you're on the farm. Grassland care, mowers, tedders, windrowers, slurry tankers, uh, balers. You can bale hay like you used to do when you were a kid. You can just bale it and pick it up with a regular, or you can, with a, uh, like a forklift, or you can get a uh, bale loader. You can wrap bales animals just all sorts of stuff it's just a lot of equipment and maps to make the game more fun for more enjoyable and more immersive in my opinion like I said do you have to use them no you don't now the downloadable content DLC these you have to pay for like the oxbow pack just came out so it says details and down in the left hand corner it says something about buying it you will have to buy it so I don't we can see what it says oh it's not gonna let me do it all right but all of these they come out with one like every quarter I think I'm not really sure I'm trying to think if I told you everything other than that that's the mod hub. I keep saying it and I, I truly believe it. People that make this stuff for the mod hub are just trying to make the game more enjoyable and more immersive. You can come in here and you can do forestry. And there's a whole bunch of forestry equipment. You don't like forestry? Come in here and buy a new map. Not buy, sorry. Download a new map. Download this map. Puma 145. This is Sosnova Novka. Sosnovka. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably Russian. A lot of these farms are made just out of somebody's imagination. Uh, the farm that I was showing you earlier. Uh, Balm road dairy farm that's actually somebody's farm they went and took some pictures and they recreated it almost perfectly eastern northern u.s and eastern north carolina the white farm i'm using that one too all right let's take a look at that there's a picture there's your map so I hope that answers a lot of everybody's questions about what is the Mod Hub, where can you find the Mod Hub, and who can use this. Anybody that has the game, either on PlayStation, Xbox, computer, you have the capabilities of downloading anything. Now, the computer version is probably going to have a lot more 
because it's harder to get mods to the PlayStation and the consoles. But if you have a console and you want to play the game, come into Mod Hub. And you go from here's your start menu, career, multiplayer, downloadable content. And there you go. So that's my version, uh, my uh, theory, not my theory. I'm having trouble with words tonight. That is my explanation of the Mod Hub the how, the why, the where, and the who. Who can use it, where it is, why we have it, all that good stuff. Hope this is helpful. If it is, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Give me a like on this video. This is Andy's Games and Hobbies. We'll see you all in the next video. And I hope you have an enjoyable game.